today's a day that we've been imagining for a very long time. In preparation for this speech, I tried to reflect on those moments. You know, the moments that I realized just how much I wanted to marry you. And obviously there are countless of them, but often there are the moments when I am particularly stressed, worried or upset, usually about a problem that is clearly unfixable. Usually I've got myself into an awkward social situation or some other predicament and the world is going to end. But in those moments, Rachel, you turn up. And first of all, the problem is almost always, the unfixable problem is almost always completely solved. Although how you do it, I have no idea. But more importantly, when you are around, the stresses and worries of those problems are completely wiped out. Because no problem, stress or worry, can compare to how it feels when I'm with you. We are absolutely delighted to have Peter becoming part of our family. With knowing Mary and Graham from Queen's Ferry Church, there have been one or two discussions at coffee time over the nature of their relationship. Mary first said to me how suited she felt Rachel was for Peter. When Peter, being a typical student, had had a bad pint at one point and, and Rachel had looked after him. Well, a very warm welcome to you all to Dalmeny Kirk to this very special occasion, the wedding of Rachel Bowden to Peter Morris. Dalmeny Kirk has been here for almost 900 years and has been a spiritual home for many down through the centuries. come together in the presence of God for the marriage of Rachel and Peter to share their joy and to promise them our support and love. Marriage is a gift of God and a means of grace. Marriage is founded in God's loving nature and in his covenant of love with us in Christ. And husband and wife and giving of themselves to each other in love reflect the love of Christ for his church. In the presence of God, for these witnesses, I, Peter Morris, give myself to you. Rachel Bowden, to be your husband, to take you now, to be my wife. I promise to love you, to be faithful and loyal to you for as long as we live. In the presence of God and before these witnesses, I, Rachel Bowden, give myself to you, Peter Morris, to be your wife and take you now to be my husband. I promise to love you, to be faithful and loyal to you for as long as we live. token and a sign of the covenant into which you have entered, these rings are now given and received. 
bridge. Oh, I give you this ring in God's name. It's a symbol of all that we have promised, all that we share. Peter, I give you this ring in God's name as a symbol of all that we have promised and all that we share. Since you have now pledged yourselves to one another in the covenant of marriage and have made your declaration before God and these witnesses, I pronounce your union to be that of husband and wife in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Those whom God has joined together, no one must separate. I can be the first one to congratulate you <laughs> and welcome, welcome Rachel to the Morris family and you'll be joined to the WhatsApp group almost <laughs> immediately. So first of all, just, just to welcome you all to what is now our family. And that's one of the wonderful things about weddings. I was warned by Rachel that under no circumstances was I to use any props. I was told I mustn't, but I'm just going to have to do it. When Peter broke his nose playing shinty, Rachel at the hospital was asked to check whether it was straight when they realigned it. To remind you initially of that is a cannon, a shinty stick. For it to work effectively, these pieces of wood need to be put together and then they need to be steamed to allow the bending of the wood into this shape. And that is just like a marriage. It only works when you bend together, not just going Rachel's way, not just going Peter's way, but when you, you work together and bend together. So I give this as my gift to you, as a reminder of the fact that such strength and power and control comes from working together. You may have gathered that I'm Matthew and I'm uh, Peter's brother. I must say that five years ago when Peter left to Aberdeen Uni, can't say I had great expectations. <laughs> But overall, I think it was a success. Five years later, he returned with a slightly useless degree and a slightly broken nose. But most importantly, with Rachel. Now, I liked Rachel from the start. I'd like to establish that, Rachel. I liked her from the start. I think my family did follow soon after, you know? Uh, who'd have thought that being a, the head of the Christian Union would go a long way in a family of three ministers? Quite frankly, I'm astonished that Peter has managed to find such an incredible woman. But honestly, I am very happy that you're finally married. Um, partly because it means you won't have to go on about it at the dinner table anymore, your wedding. There are many trials and challenges ahead, but I think I and everyone else here can, uh, can to some extent rest easy knowing that whatever may arise, you'll face it together. Hello, everybody. I think I'll start off by saying that on behalf of my wife and I, uh, thank you for spending today with us. Um, you are the 19 or so people who have probably been closest to us throughout our life so far. So it really does mean a lot that we can spend today with you all. Rachel's parents, Keith and Jane, I'd like to say thank you for raising Rachel to be the kind and intelligent person that I love today and also welcome me, welcoming me into your family. But also, I'd like to thank you for all your great generosity. You've helped make the garden look absolutely amazing. So thank you very much for all that you've done for us. 
to my own parents, mom and dad, I'm sure everyone in the garden would like to thank you for producing such an incredible son. But more seriously, I want to thank you for the great example you've set, uh, all that you've done for us, and I don't think me and or Matthew have ever really said thank you enough for the way that you've raised us. Now, on to my beautiful wife. When I'm totally exhausted, tired and upset, you're the one I want to go to. And when I'm happy and excited and laughing, it's usually because I'm already having a coffee with you. And I want to share it all with you. I love you and I'm incredibly happy to admire my closest friend today.